Psst. Hey, come on, man. Jimbo's back. Yowzer! It's that time. Radio was done with him. Four spouses had enough of her and him. Hopefully the third time is a charm. Get ready to have your ear holes violated. It's wild. It's crazy. It's time. It's the Jimbo and Jackie Show. There it is. Yeah! Yowzer! Look at all the excitement happening here at the Reamp Studios. We are very happy to be violating your ear holes. How you doing, Jackie? Great. How are you? Beautiful. Really good. Thank you for making the Jimbo and Jackie show. Three times the charm. A smash hit. It's really big with people in Musco, I found out. <laughs> so we're excited about that. We are getting ready to do episode 46, where the Yelp sex position is a, a pretty damn fun one. I like it. A fun one. Funny one. Jim loved it. it was, <laughs> it's a not so fun. Uh, not so quick, Missy. We'll discuss that. We're also doing uh, our little field trip where we went to see Magic Men Magic of Hollywood. Man. First time I've ever witnessed uh, a male strip review. I, I think you really enjoyed it. We'll find out. Did I fake it or did we I make it? I don't think you faked it. Uh, also, we're going to have the founder of Magic Men of Hollywood, uh, Miles Hass. Yes. Uh, sad to say he couldn't join us in studio because he was getting his nipples waxed. So <laughs> we're going to have him on the phone to talk about uh, the event and everything. I think he was stuck in traffic. You think so? I th- All right. That's what I heard. All right. But I think right Ain't now we need to pop. It. That's right, baby. <laughs> I'd like that turned up a little bit. Is that cool? Is yes. that cool if you don't mind? We're doing that, and uh, we're going to pop the cork. And what happens, Jackie? We're going to get the champagne flowing and the conversation going. A little oh! bit of whiskey and champagne, baby. There it goes, a shamsky. Shamsky in the house. And Jackie is, yes, uh, you need to actually take off your headphones and get in front of the camera. That's why oh, we urge boy. you to get uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel. And look at the pants, Jackie. We're going to have these available soon. We're making a few tweaks to it. But uh, look at Jackie, look at Jackie. Uh, that uh, Wait, no, turn, there you go. Just look at the screen and follow it. Don't be one of those sporting events jumbotron uh, morons. Figure it out, gorgeous. There you go. Back up a little. Look at that, back up a little bit, Nobody they want you. Put, throw a leg on the table. Throw a leg on the table. Uh-oh, here she goes. There it is. You kind of see, switch the cameras and make her. There it is, isn't it? All right. Good enough. <laughs> they said it. You look like one of those people that was on the Jumbotrons and going, Hey, I'm on TV! Looking the other way and everything. <laughs> but I love you, Jackson! I'm still learning. Shamsky. <laughs> Shamsky pants available soon. Who are we working with on that? Gold Sheep. One of my favorite legging brands. They do feel better than the other ones, don't they? Yes, and Natasha and I reached out to them, and they're customizing them for us. Nah. Excited. Very excited about that project. But uh, as we get in, as you enjoy your Samski, Jackie, mm-hmm. hopefully you as well. Cheers, beautiful. Uh, cheers, gorgeous thing. <laughs> the number 46, I got a good one, especially for the boys. I don't know if you'll care, Jackie. <laughs> I always care. The number 46... In the Sopranos. That's right, baby. They have an episode from season one, episode two, called 46 Long. You want to know why they call it 46 Long? Why? Well, let me put on my readers. 46 Long is a large man's suit size. Silvio... Pussy and all the guys trying Italian suits that Christopher and Brendan hijacked. So 46 long, season one, episode two. Oh, Are you guys proud of that you. fact? I'm very proud of that. Are you, you impressed? Is that pretty good? <laughs> that was some of your best work. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I think my dad was a 46 long. Oh, was he? I always shopped at the tall and what was the store? Big, big and, and tall? tall? Yeah. yeah, big and tall. Yeah, yeah. Your, your dad was a big man. Yeah. Big man. I think I'm a uh, granimal size, <laughs> uh, <Granimal>. extra large. <laughs> you guys want a random fact before we uh, kick off uh, the episode 46? Heck yeah. What, what's your favorite word that rhymes with my name? Jim... Bo. Oh, Jimbo. Yeah, you've heard of me. 
<laughs> it's a Jimbo and Jackie show. Oh, yeah. God. How many times a Jim? <laughs> it rhymes with Jim or Jimbo? Well, I'm, I just don't. Jimbo. Oh. It rhymes with Bo. It reminds with Jimbo. What? What's one of your favorite words that rhymes with it's Jimbo? Only, it's only one word. Bimbo. Ding, ding, ding <laughs> goes the trolley. Say it with oh. confidence, Jackie. Well, it's not my favorite word. Well, what's that? What's that? Say it again loud and proud. What rhymes with Jimbo? Bimbo. That's right. You want to know a fun <laughs> fact about Bimbo? What? Originally, Bimbo described a man who wasn't <laughs> bright. But during the 1920s, it evolved to describe a woman. Oh, boy. So they switched it up on us? They switched it up on us, damn it. Damn. Have you ever been called a bimbo? No. No? I, I thought it was pretty much for blondes. Uh, airheads, I guess mostly blondes. But would you say bimbos are strictly, I thought it was kind of like uh, a girl that got around. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. It's or is a, it a dumb a blonde? A dumb blonde. Yeah. So okay, like, that's what I So like Chrissy of Three's Company? I mean, it's often put together with the word blonde, blonde bimbo. Ah, okay. Well, I'm a brunette bimbo because <laughs> I still don't know <laughs> where our freaking cameras Kelly are in Bundy the studio. Is the, is the best bimbo. <laughs> Which one? Kelly Bundy. Ah, oh, <laughs> Kelly Bundy. Yes, that's a fun bimbo. Yeah. I still laugh when I see the bread trucks go by that say bimbo. I bimbo. know. Oh, yeah. I love I that. I have seen that. <laughs> so have you squeezed a few bimbos in your day? Oh, more more than I can count. That's it. <laughs> have you beautiful? As many as I can. You did this morning. And I did this afternoon, too. <laughs> right on. Well, that's kind of fun. I think it's time to let's just get right into it. Do you guys want to get some sexy time on? Oh, yeah. This is one of Jackie's favorite features. What's it called, baby? The Yelp Sex Position. That's right. That's where Jackie and her bimbo gets together. <laughs> And uh, we reenact one of the scenes in the book of a gift that Jackie gave me, baby. And what's this week's position called, Jackie? Not so quick, Missy. I'm telling you, people, look for position of the day playbook. That's where we get all this excitement. The not so fast, Missy. Oh, not so fast, Missy. What'd you say? Not so fist? I said not so quick. Not so fist, Missy. Don't fist Missy or that other bimbo. But uh, if you're looking at the YouTube, you can see how exciting this position is going to be. But we know some of you, you basically, you go to your favorite podcast platform and you don't get to see it. You just get to hear it. And I want you to know that uh, the Yelp Sex Position is brought to you by Slim Chillers, the adult pop that makes the panties drop. Yeah, they do. And this is where we invite producer Tay-Tay to describe the picture that some of you are just listening to right now. So this is a position in movement. Uh, we we uh, really want to visualize... Uh, not just the the grabbing position, but also the leaping position that's coming out of this. And so, uh, I'm I'm not sure how you would maintain it. Uh, how how we can picture it is we have a straight up and down uh, Jimbo with his head in typical 90 degree uh, <laughs> backward fashion. Thanks for noticing. And we uh, we have a chair that's directly behind him now. Support what, support what, chair. <laughs> what what makes this unique is that. Um, is that it appears that Miss Jackie was sitting down on the chair, and as she tried maybe running away or leaping away, Jimbo grabbed onto her and... Uh, not so a- fast, and He Missy. said not so fast. And so now we have Miss Jackie's two feet on the chair, and uh, the rest of her body is being held upward by Jimbo. Now, Would I'm you say she uh, looks like uh, an Olympic swimmer position, maybe? She, maybe a diver. Diver, um, okay. And... And so I'm not sure the the purpose that the chair plays. Maybe it's an emotional support chair, not a physical support <laughs> chair. Uh, but I'm I'm interested to see how you guys played this one off because I I don't see where the uh, the the motion of the ocean could be stabilized here. So we'll we'll have to see. Well, then I think that's a perfect time to maybe go You're to the so audio good, tape Tay. that nailed the Tay Tay. You should get an Emmy for that. I think maybe one day we'll get you an Emmy. But right now. We're too shy to show video of this, so right now we just do audio of the Yelp sex position, which is called what, Jackie? Not so fast, Missy. Fired up. All righty, all boned up for what, Jackie? But not so fast, Missy. Not so fast, Missy. You ain't getting away from this guy. 
I hope I don't face plan on this one. Well, I got to be the, honest. I got the chair secure. I got you, boo. You don't worry about a thing. So basically, you got to put your legs up on the chair. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can do it. I got you. Oh. <laughs> It's a right, chair. Let me, let me secure. Now you get security. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, well, both my feet are up, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Strong hole. <laughs> I can't get up this chair one more time. <laughs> we both had a seat, little Missy. <laughs> well, I, got, I got a little weak in the knees. I guess you did it too fast, Missy. <laughs> so I got to put... Okay, let me get secure. Okay. Now you get it. I got you, boo. Okay. Now get up and lean. <laughs> Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. <laughs> I like the idea of this one, but I don't think it's really oh. happening. Oh, chair. <laughs> you gonna try third time's a charm? One more attempt? Okay. One more try, you guys. All right. One more try. Let me get secure first. I even got on my. My house slippers. Maybe that's the thing. Let me take out the house slippers. The house slippers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sexy look for you guys picturing it. <laughs> you had your pants around your ankle. I know. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we Get go. up. Third time's a charm. And hopefully. then I lean back. Lean back. Okay, here we go. Now get your feet up. Here we go. Oh! 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 King of the world. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ah, well, we meant well. You almost broke your pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that concludes our not so fast, Missy. Not so fast, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say bye, Jackson. Bye, bye, y'all. See ya. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we tried. We tried. Mama tried, and uh, I I promise you <laughs> that. All of those noises were the chair. It was the chair. I don't know. It sounded like uh, you went in the Ooh. wrong port of entry. <laughs> 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 it did a little bit, didn't it? Maybe, maybe if you guys put the chair against a wall. Yeah, I well, tried to do it near a couch. Yeah, it was up against the couch, but it was still scooting and, and moving. Yeah, we maybe we should have done the wall. You're a lot smarter and prettier than us. Tay -tay. I didn't think about the wall. You were too excited. Aww. That you get to mount this man. <laughs> oh, well. We'll remember that next time if we revisit it. Thank you for the, the big hot tip there, Tay-Tay. You guys can think of me next time. Yeah, well, <laughs> always do. Always do. Well, I think it's time to go on a little field trip, Jackie. Yeah, baby. We went on a great field trip, and uh, we want to let you know that we are totally stoked that uh, we got to totally put me in the most awkward position of my, my life almost. And honestly, I think Jim enjoyed it more than me. We sat down, you guys. You really think so? Yeah. Honey. You don't think sometimes I over-exaggerate how much of a so, good time I'm having? The first thing I want to say, I had on the Jimbo Jackie leggings. Yeah. You know, and I'm thinking, well, I should sit on the end because the leggings are going to get all the attention. Word. Well, husband came and he sat on the end. And all of a sudden, I look over. Jim's shirt had one more button undone. He's got his chest. I'm like, what is, what is my husband doing? I was hoping they were having a hairy chest contest, and I knew I would win because a lot of these uh, men, magic men, uh, they uh, basically they they do a lot of manscaping. Yes. And I'll do some, but I'm old school too. Yeah, I like your hair. Jim's uh, hair all flows the same direction uh, on his body. It's beautiful. Yeah, I order it that way. I make sure I say, hair, <laughs> you stay there. You look due south. Look at that <laughs> way right there. But we got some pictures. Uh, and we got a little paparazzi action when we went to Magic Men in Hollywood. There was a picture right there. Look at Jackie looking fly. And I'm looking, I got to be honest, I was looking pretty damn good that oh, night. Oh, yeah, you were. Looking pretty damn good. What do you guys think? Do, do I look like one of the magic men? Right. Oh, there. And, I do got him on. And the fancy if, shirt. If you see it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what you see right there, uh, Sound Boys, was right at the very beginning. I lost two buttons by the end of the night just to get you excited. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and I think we have another picture from that. Oh, I wore my special underpants. Him. You yeah. want to zoom in on that action? Look at Jackie, all of fluster. 
She's loving it. There's my that's my eye of the tiger underpants. <laughs> my banana hammock. <laughs> yeah, Daddy brought his britches down right quick. Hey, hey, did, did you wear those on purpose? Fuck yeah, I did. Cause I thought bananas for your new gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Bananas for your new gorilla? <laughs> Our favorite drop. I think uh, I wore those in case. You know, I did it in case one of the magic men pulled a hammy. And if they needed somebody from the crowd, I'm like, hey, I wore my tiger. I had the tiger underpants. I could do it. You should have. Uh, you should have worn the Saran Wrap shorts, the That's clear right. shorts that we saw in <laughs> earlier uh, yes. last season. It's not a full nude review, Tay Tay. It's done classy. And I completely forgot to bring those today because we were gonna have you do a little dance. Oh, look at that! You forgot. Are they in our bag? No. <laughs> That's what Thank I'm wondering. No. I think they melted from the sun. I'm going to look real quick. I, I think I one. farted at a chili cook-off, and I melted them. Oh, uh, look at you looking. Uh-oh. I thought they might be. Oh, she's going through her bag, folks. But uh, you know it's a classy affair when you're dropping pants at the at the red carpet treatment. Uh, if yeah, this going to be that kind of party, I'm going to stick my dick in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, baby. If there was mashed Damn. potatoes, I would have asked, and I would have made you proud on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what. And then uh, it got, it was fun, I'll admit. Absolutely. But I'll be honest, boys, there was a few times that I was more comfortable watching some of the scenes of the human centipede than the, than the men of uh, 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 Magic Men. But we got a little video here Jamal. of us first getting there before it goes off. So Jackie and I hit it, Tay-Tay, our arrival. All right, it's the Jimbo and Jackie show. On a crazy ass field trip. I've been dying to do this my whole never. I've never. This has never been on my bucket list. It's more kind of on my fuck it list. Jackie said, "Hey, you want to go see Magic Men?" And I said, "All right, fuck it. Let's give it a shot." And I'm thinking, am I gonna have a husband tomorrow? <laughs> I saw those guys. They're pretty hot. They they uh not had a carb since they came out of the womb. Once their mama took them off their teeth, it doesn't look like uh, they had a carb ever. No, but, uh, it doesn't. I've never been to a male strip show, and I'll be honest, Jackie, yes. back in the day, I, I was kind of envious. I wanted to be a stripper. Oh, I can totally see you doing that. If you go to lobstertube.com, <laughs> one, one of the porn things is you watch the guy who's the stripper, and he goes into the bachelorette party, and then you got all 12 girls partying with I would fucking love to be that guy. I gotta be on. So I got stripper envy, I guess, is what I'm saying. You would be a great one. It'd be Girls a fun with... Beautiful. And scene. <laughs> I thought there was more. I guess that was it. <laughs> he caught us kissing now. Yeah, guilty. That was awkward. V- but I- uh, VIP booth, they yeah, put us in. There's a picture. They did uh, kick us on the side. We were with a, a bridal party. Uh, I know it's a little bit dark, but guess what? So are our dreams right now. <laughs> Husband finally let me on the end, though, you see. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. Yep. So it was it was badass to be sitting. It was a good view, right? And, were you happy where and, we were? And you know what? It was, I think that was one of the best strip shows I've ever been to. And how many have you been to? Just so people can say. A lot. Yeah. I've been to a lot of them. Yeah. Never with a male, never with a spouse, never with a boyfriend, nothing like that. No. So you were fun at the male strip club, honey. So you would take me again if, oh, yeah. if for some reason I decided I wanted to do this yes. again. Yes, and you gave me 20 bucks for a little dance, too. And we're going to have that coming up in a little bit. Check this out, ass. boys. You want to talk about an awkward but cool situation. You got to be secure, boys, because it gets really kind of weird. When you go there. But I figured, you know what? I'll get the, the missus really wants to go. I'm going to give back to her vagina. Let's uh, <laughs> let's make her a very happy woman. Show her that I'm secure enough with our relationship that I held out $20. Because they were doing something called the hot seat. Yes. And what they would do is they came out from the stage. And if you had $20, they'll make you holla. <laughs> and uh, they'll give you like a little quick little private dance. And I think... Um, this dance went on a little bit too long, a little bit too long for my liking. 
I don't know about you, Jackie. Did you? Was this one of the best? Uh, have you been treated like this before at strip clubs? I have. And did you like this one? How oh, does this one yeah. rate? This guy scooped me up just like I was. And what nothing. was his name? Who cares? Man meat. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Magic That's men. <laughs> they were magic men. Well, I know that part. I thought you meant literally what was his name. But let me tell you, sound boys, <laughs> you want to talk about an awkward, weird situation. Are you guys cool enough to... Uh, I want you to see this, and then you can decide if you would do this with your spouse or significant other or whatever bimbo you may be with at the time. <laughs> so let's fire up this video, uh, producer Tay-Tay. <laughs> what? Whoa! Hey, Jackie. Ah! He went by your honey pot. You touched his mid zone. And there he goes. Oh, look at Jackie. <laughs> Holy hell. What's going on? What the hell is going on? Was it fun, Mama? It was so much fun. <laughs> Mouse strippers are always a freaking blast. Let me ask you, sound boys. What was it like watching that video of my bride? My, my bride, my third time's a charm. Uh wrap her legs around that stallion's velvet engine. It reminded me of the time when I picked you up, Jimbo. That was a good time, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it didn't cost me, it only cost me a tall boy of Coors Light, <laughs> not 20 bucks. <laughs> and gas money. Producer Mark, what'd you think when you saw that video? Well, because we work for you, all I can say is that guy's got nothing on you. Thank you so much. It's true. That's right. He's got, he's got, he's got potential. He's got potential. Hopefully he'll watch this show and I'll inspire him a little bit. Uh, Producer Tay-Tay, what are your thoughts after seeing... Uh, uh, Miss Jackie. I think it was... It was <laughs> yeah, Miss Jackie in action. <laughs> you know, I, I think you're just such a manly man, Jimbo. Like, good good for you in, in letting her do that because you, you know who she goes home with, right? Amen, brother. Yes. Hey, and it was Did you so think about him the last time we... Uh, the time we mounted each other after Magic Men, did you think of any of the guys? No. I've never <laughs> I've never <laughs> thought of somebody else when I was doing you. Let it oh, go. Ever. I'm just asking. I'm getting real, hey, bro. And did you see my legs look like octopuses because I had these shoes on? So Dude, I was so these afraid. shoes Don't make me these shoes are you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Let me put it this way. Can I do this? See these spikes? I don't know if you could zoom in on this action. But these shoes have spikes all over, and they're not fake. <laughs> I was Maybe turn it a little bit so you can get the uh, get the uh, get the light to hit it. Look at uh, uh, that so little bit. You see go. that? Yeah. No, they're very thorny. And Jackie got very thorny that night. Yeah, and I was or horny. I did. It was one of the two. <laughs> well, both. I did not want to poke his skin with the shoes, so that's why my legs look like octopuses. Ah! <laughs> As your octopus is rubbing against his loins, <laughs> like that. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, that's hilarious. Hey, uh, just what Jackie needs is extra stimulation. You know. <laughs> that's right. Hey, well, guess, guess who we got on the phone? Oh, uh, do we have? I heard we've been very excited to do this. We have the founder of Magic Men, Miles Harris. All right. And he was also the MC of the night. Are you there, Miles? <laughs> yeah, what's going on, guys? Oh, oh cool. what's uh, up, babe? <laughs> You're going on. Have you ever had a carb in your life? Uh, me? I, well, see, I keep my clothes on, so I can get away with as many carbs as I want. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, it's kind of crazy because you, you did, uh, I loved, I don't want to be wait, this. Wait, wait. Before you say anything, I think I know what you're going to say. Do not spoil yeah. the end of the show. I'm going to say, okay, I don't want to do spoiler alert, but uh, it was, I got to be honest, Miles, how many, how many guys come to your show? Honestly, I mean, of course, there are some guys that are interested in the show, right? You know, just because. Yeah. Uh, so, but it, it's it's mostly like a, a girls' night out. We welcome everybody who wants to come see our show to come. I'd say there's always a good handful of guys that come to the show. Um, you know, husbands, on the other hand, and boyfriends, not so often. But you, honestly, every time we do get them in the in the in the room, they uh, 
they seem to enjoy the show just as much as the girls sometimes. It's, it's genuinely an entertaining show for just about anybody. You know, there. I obviously I understand why some guys would be like, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. But, I mean, you tell me. Did you have a good time? I'll be honest. Most of the time, I thought it was badass. We're on the phone right now with uh, Miles Hass, the founder of uh, Magic Men, and I went to my mer- first male strip review, and I had a great time. It was fun watching the girls get crazy, screaming, yeah. <laughs> you know. And and you know what? In my philosophy, I, I kind of felt like a roadie for Poison because I figure Poison can't fuck all the groupies, so why not come to the party, man? Boys, listen. There you go. See, now you're thinking. <laughs> because, like, that that's exactly what I think. I'm like, guys, like, a lot of my guy friends come to the show, and, I mean, they have, they're, I mean, they're more entertained by the audience than they are uh, of the actual show, just the reaction yeah. of the crowd, the energy in the room. And then, like you said, I mean, there's only like 10 of us in the show and there's like hundreds of women in the audience. Exactly, man. And, and as man. far as I know, uh, every magic man, they only got one dick a piece, right? They don't have several. They can only do so much damage, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackie, well, why don't you talk to well, Magic Miles? Well, Miles, I've been to quite a few male reviews, and I yeah. honestly got to say, it was the best I've ever been to. Your guys were freaking amazing. They're all built like brick houses. And I honestly thought, holy shit, am I going to have a husband tomorrow? Ah, <laughs> I thought my husband's going to fall in love with one of these guys. What? <laughs> Oh, that wasn't the answer I was expecting. Yeah, that was out of left field. Just so you know, Miles, she's been drinking. She's been doing uh, sham sham skis right now. But uh, you know, I thought it was kind of cool. You know what? It was the show is well thought out. Yes. There's like there's like a cool fantasy part without spoiling too much of it, where it's like interactive, and they bring they bring a couple chicks on stage for the guys to do their uh, their meat grind up on them and everything. It was cool. <laughs> it was so fun. Thank you. Yeah, we put a lot of time into it. I mean, that's definitely one thing we pride ourselves on is like actually producing a legitimate like show and a spectacle out of what we do. You know, obviously throwing out all, throwing in all the fun stuff. You know what, what the women w- want to see or and expecting to see, but doing it in a way that is unexpected. You right. Know what I mean? And doing it, trying to walk that line of being artistic and re- risque at the same time. It's it's kind of. It's, it's a difficult line to, to walk, but... It's difficult, you know. but when you achieve it, it's it's apparent, and you guys did it, and I did it this afternoon, Miles. You should have seen <laughs> the art I created. But have you ever had a family member show up? Uh, have you ever had, like, a sister or a mom or a grandma come to Magic Men to see, what is Miles up to? Let's see what he does at work. Yeah. Actually, it's funny because uh, both of my sisters have been to the show. Uh, my aunt... Several of my aunts have been to the show. My parents have not, unfortunately. <laughs> but they saw, <laughs> they saw what this they saw what this was when it was just getting started. Yeah. And like then they got to see what it turned into now. And like it just you know that was uh, you know I have two older sisters and it's always been difficult for me as the younger brother to like gain their approval and impress them. You know yeah. they just look at me as their. You know, they're troublemaking younger brother. They're like, ah, oh, what's Miles up to now? You know, ah. you know. <laughs> and then I, when I finally saw, you know, the look on my sister's face after she watched the show, and then the way her friends that she brought to the show would respond to it, like, they couldn't stop talking about it to her. And, like, she's a hairstylist, and she'll get random clients that come in. Ah, uh, there you go. They're the craziest it. ones. I've dated a few the, hairstylists, and they're fun and nuts. Well, They'll be talking about our show. They'll say they'll talk to her and say, "Oh, I just went to the craziest show this weekend. You're not gonna believe it. it was so amazing, this and that." And she's sitting there thinking, "Is she? Are they talking about Magic Men?" And she's like, and then she'll drop that in there. So, what was the name of the show? Oh, what was the? Who was your favorite? Oh, the host, what, Miles, right? <laughs> and, then she'll fa- she, and then she'll Facetime me with this big look, this big grin on her face. Hey Miles, I want you to meet someone, and then she'll show her client, and the look of shock on her client's face <laughs> is just like hilarious. <laughs> and then, like, you can just tell that my sister's proud to like be able to show. No. Her. Yeah, this is this is my brother. You know what I mean? Like, 
I was like, okay, I finally did it. Like, I finally right. got to a place yep. where I some, made my sister proud. Some brothers are trying to find the cure for cancer, and uh, <laughs> my brother is actually flopping pork swords all over stage, making <laughs> women moister than Duncan Hines cakes. We're trying to satisfy the uh, the female population. Now. That, we're trying to... You know what they say, happy wife, happy life? Amen, we're brother. Applying that, we're, we're applying that philosophy to the entire female. Well, honestly, have, having Jim go to the show with me, Miles, it has brought our relationship to a whole nother level. Oh, my. Has honestly, it? Honestly, yes. Has it? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, fuck really? whatever. I know we're so. fucking like crazy. She has a new highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, when did, you, when did you start it? When did you, when did you start, start Magic Men? Well, I got started in this business in 2008, I want to say. Okay. Um, I, w- I was like fresh out of high school, and I, my uncle actually had been in the business since 1989. Wow. And by the, and by the business, I mean, he was basically, he started a adult party entertainment agency nice. where you could hire a male or female entertainer to come to your house for like a bachelor or bachelorette party. Or you know whatever uh, par- party buses, uh, hotel suites or whatever. So if you had a bachelor party or a bachelor bachelor party, you could hire an entertainer to come out. Nice. How cool to, to perform there. How cool so it's in the got, how cool it's I in the family, started, dude. Yeah. yeah <laughs> well, I have two sides of my family: my dad's side, which is the wild side, and my mom's side, which are all very white collar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but, um, that's cool, man. And and uh, I, we wish you nothing but success. Keep the party going because, like I said, any any business that makes ladies happy, I'm down for it. That's what we try to do on the Jimbo Jackie Show. Third time's a charm. Oh, and our producer, Mark, has a question for you. I do. I do have a question. So I, I want to ask your favorite story about what one of these women uh, guests might have done at the show. Any memorable stories that you can relate to oh, us? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like something happens every single show, so it just become like normal to us. <laughs> but um, I do have one that sticks out to me just because like it, it, I was directly involved with it. And it was, um, I remember it was in New Orleans. We were on tour, and we are in New Orleans for the first time. And I'm the host of the show. So when the show starts, I come out, I give out, uh, I give like my opening monologue, kind of, you know, let the audience know what they're in in for and get the the crowd excited. And then, you know, the guys come out and the the show starts. But while I was doing my whole opening monologue, I, uh, an older woman approached the front of the stage and she was just standing there and she was just... (laughs) trying to holler at me she's just like hey hey just trying to get my attention and i'm like right in the middle of my spiel and i'm like well this is kind of obvious i have to address her so i say hey you know what's going on sweetheart how are you doing and she's like she looks me up and down and she's like how you doing and walks away and then later in the show, I, I, I kept that in mind i'm like oh grandma's a little sassy i'm, I'm gonna get her back yeah <laughs> you know later Later in the show, so I was like, okay, you know what? Then there's a, later in the show, there's a part where we bring up five winners to come on stage and um, be a part of the, the show. Which so I love, by that, the way. Good job, good interaction with the crowd. That's one of the great things with it. <laughs> Miles yeah. Hass, founder of Magic Men, on with us right now. He brings up the grandma on stage, and what happens? Yeah, and then this is what happens. So grandma comes up on stage. There was a previous girl that was supposed to come on stage, but I asked her, I I always say to the audience, if I call your name, you need to scream as loud as you can, raise your hand up high, and come on down to the stage. Now, this this young lady, unfortunately, she didn't scream as loud as she could. She didn't scream at all. Yeah. So, the stipulation to that is if you don't scream, then in order to claim your chair on stage, you have to give your best fake orgasm. Good call, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> so she, but she wimped out. Oh no! She she wimped out. So I said, you know, I I turned to the audience. I said, who can give the best fake orgasm here? And guess who starts screaming and hollering? Oh, grandma, mama, golden girl, grandma. Grandma, and nice. like I knew, right? I'm like grandma. 
let's get you up here. Let's see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, are you ready? And like before I could count to three, she snatches the microphone from me and it just just go, starts going to town. Ah, and yes. It, it, it threw the entire room off. We were all in <laughs> shock. I fell to the ground laughing so hard. Nice. And as I... And while I'm on the ground, guess what happened? What happened? What? Grandma hops right on top of me and starts <laughs> riding me in front of, like, over a thousand women. Yeah! Um, like, <laughs> I just had a look of shock on my face. I had another one of the guys on uh, on stage with me helping me pick up the guy. She was looking at me like, what is going on? I got up. I was so flustered. I, that had never happened to me. I, I didn't it. know how to respond. It was, uh, but it was, the crowd just went absolutely wild. Uh, you did a gilf porn, was. Miles. You did some gilf. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh, my goodness. I don't even know what to do here. Like, for the first time ever, I was just like in complete shock. That's awesome. But yeah, that definitely uh, stuck out. I love hey, that. Hey, Miles, this is Ashton, the uh, sound engineer. Uh, can I bring can I bring my grandma over? <laughs> <laughs> of course, brother. Bring them all, all ages. Well, I mean, you can't be like, you know, you got to be of age, but there's no end age if you want to go see Magic Men, right, Jackie? That's right, beautiful. Yeah, yeah sp- speaking for the engineering booth here, Miles, you're our new hero. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted an audition. Ah, yeah, we were hoping if you got like, if you need like some creepy guys who don't manscape that well, we were thinking that we got a whole crew here of like creepy hairy guys that could maybe. Uh, you got a spot for a short fat guy? There's got to be a fetish for that, right, Miles? Skinny Jewish guy. Yeah. yeah yo, listen, man. Dad bods are now back in, man. Dad bods are in. Probably. All right. Oh, I like keep three dad bods in one bod. Yeah. All right. I tell you what, Miles, we need to hook up uh, uh, sometime after you do this wonderful tour and we can see if we can do a Jimbo and Jackie show, Mar- uh, Magic Men show. What do you think, Jackie? Dang, I love that idea. I've been telling you forever. Let me let me cut down on some carbs and like try to get at least a two pack so I can like enjoy a little stripping. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'd be happy to do it. We'll set it up. Right on. And speaking of something that's set up, you got a great charity event happening this Saturday. Why don't you tell us all about it, Miles? Yeah. It's amazing. We've been trying to uh, work with different charities for quite some time now. Um, Obviously, our our show caters to a lot of women, uh, mostly women. So, like, one thing that we've always had in mind is how, how can we give back? How can we help uh you know women in different ways other than just being on stage and taking our clothes off nice so yeah we're lucky enough to get in touch with a great charity based here in los angeles actually it's called face forward and what they do is they help rehabilitate um people who go through domestic violence uh human trafficking and um like physical abuse you know so mm-hmm a uh, portion of our proceeds from uh, our upcoming show this Saturday are going to go towards towards that cause. Um, so we're doing a lot of promotion towards that, um, you know, trying to get as many people out and aware of the situation as possible. There's one thing that we do well, and that's garner attention. Awesome. Yeah, so, that's true. So we're, trying to ta- we're trying to take that attention and bring it, you know, divert it to some of these causes. Um, so we're, like, every every week and every month, we're going to have different charities that we're going to be working with. And, you know, awesome. as we post on social media and gather that attention that we get through that, we're going to try to bring as much awareness to some of these causes as we can. That's awesome. See, look at that, Jackie. Isn't it beautiful? Not only magic men have hard-ons, they have a heart-on as absolutely well. Right. That's the best kind, man. <laughs> a good, uh, a hard man is good to find, ain't it, Jackie? That's right, baby. Well, Man, we're going to put a link up to your charity event on all our social media because, uh, Miles, you uh, you got to be a guest on one of the most successful podcasts on planet Earth, <laughs> the most positively positive podcast right. on planet Earth. And the hospitality you gave back to us, Aww. I think what we got to do, Jackie, is figure out a time. Maybe, uh, maybe down the road, Miles, we can work on something where we got a big old party bus to bring them to your next party. And let's just team up. Let's make... We try to be the most positive podcast on planet Earth, and you 
guys, I gotta be honest. You positively gave the best when I saw Magic Men. Oh yeah, it was, it was awesome. cool. So cool. It was cool, man. I, I appreciate you wanting to be on our show. The fact you let us come down here because you're doing the Lord's work, and I'm proud That's of you. That's right. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. It was a pleasure having you guys. It's funny because I was going through a lot of the, the footage that our videographer got. Right. I keep seeing your fa face pop up, and you're just like having the best time ever. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep laughing every time I see it. Oh, I'll right you, on. I'll send, you, I'll send you a couple clips. Oh, yeah, That'd we'd love awesome. to do that. Miles, you were a great host, a great MC, and thank you for doing the Lord's work of creating Magic men, Jackie. Yes. We're talking to the founder. How cool is that? I can't wait to see you guys again. Thanks. Right on. How cool that is was that, so Jackie? Badass. That was uh, oh. a unique experience. I'm so glad you had fun, honey, and I knew you would. I got to be honest. I, I'll do anything with you almost. I won't say oh, anything. Well, you would do anything with me because I'd do anything with you. Well, that's a... Uh, so, well. Oh. <laughs> There's a few things I wouldn't do with like you. Like what? Like, like share you with that guy that you were strapped his legs around. <laughs> <laughs> well, you share me. You were standing there looking for a minute. Yeah, but you had clothes on. I was just saying, I wouldn't share you <laughs> naked. I got you. But you know what I mean. No, I it was you. It was a damn good time. And to be honest, dudes, I know it, it. it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit awkward. But you know what? Give your girl a good time. Let it go. Why not Let give your girl? Yeah. Enjoy that. And what was cool, what was fun with uh, part of the field trip is our social media goddess, uh, Natasha, yes. came with us. She was the one that hooks up a lot of our interviews and does some cool stuff for us. So I want to bring in another lady's point of view so you <laughs> ladies can go cray cray and talk about the boy boys. <laughs> And all the fun that we had. So coming right now is social media goddess Natasha with her man candy, Aaron, who is my wingman. And I was so stoked to not be the only dude going on this adventure. Jackie's going to sit on my lap. We're going to give you a couple chairs. Uh -huh. Look at that. Look at that. Do you guys want your own mic? Or, um, I mean, we can share. No, I can works. share. Oh, Jackie's going to share with me. I'm going to share with you. So here we go. Please yeah, welcome to the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's a charm. Our social media goddess, Natasha, with her man, Candy, Aaron. What is happening, party people? Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, oh, I, I brought my own shot for there my sham speech. Oh, nice. Good girl right there. <laughs> um, You know, it was quite the experience. Now, have you been to a lot of male reviews? Have you seen a lot of grown-ass men take off their clothes and bump and grind on stage? Just Ashton's re like review that yeah. he's done. Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not your thing. You haven't been to no, a lot. No, I've never been before. Did you have a great time? No, I'd never been. That was my first time. Oh, I did not know that. You popped Natasha's cherry, yeah. Jackie. I, I've been to one in Vegas. I tend to do that. With you went before me. What I've the been fuck? To one in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, because there's one. There's in Vegas. The hustlers down downstairs is for the guys, and oh. upstairs are for the girls. So we're in Vegas. We're like, where the fuck are the girls at? They're upstairs. Oh, animals, animals, animals. <laughs> These women are animals. Yes, up there. they are. They were going nuts. Oh, Aaron, it was crazy. How many male strip reviews have you been to before Magic Men? Zero. Zero. That was my okay. first. And <laughs> let me give you a fist bump because I'm so glad you went with me because at least it was kind of it was. Misery loves company, but we ended up <laughs> we ended up having a damn good time, didn't yeah, we? It was a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, yeah, the girls were screaming crazy. They were. It was. They nuts. were thirsty. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. when when he said like, "Where's all the ladies that left their men at home?" and everyone stood up with their dollar bills, and they were like, <laughs> "Fuck yeah!" yeah! I'm like, my damn, man. my man's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You know, I know we're not. No, I'm just playing with that, but it was cool for any guy who's cool letting your girl go out, have a great time. Right, right. I'll let you two girls talk for a little bit. Talk so to I have a question for Aaron. You, uh -oh. had, you had never been to a male strip club. Have you been to a titty bar? I have. Oh, okay, well, sweet. What well, do you you're... prefer? Which one are you going to go to next? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'll be going to either next. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we had a blast that night. I love them all. She loves them all. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It's uh, think about it, this dudes. If you ever, do you ever watch uh, 
porn with your chick? You know, you got to watch another dude with his pork sword. Why not take your chick out on a surprise and go see Magic Men? You know, she'll never forget that you sacrificed a little bit of your time and pride and humility. Natasha, aren't men funny? (laughs) Oh, the best was at one point I went to the bar to get another round of drinks and I was like, Oh shit! Not, you know, we had been drinking for a while. I'm like, oh, they got nachos. So I like se- <laughs> nacho daddy. I, I like secretly ordered food, and then I was like, baby, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So I come back with like three trays of food, and I knew, so and I knew Aaron was hungry because he hadn't eaten dinner, and he was like. I was like his savior at that moment. <laughs> and it was like I, was I, I took the show from like being fun and cool to like, oh <laughs> that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, I, it was like fun to watch, but I had so much fun watching the crowd. Oh, like the nuts. crowd was killing me because <laughs> You know, they're on stage and they're going crazy. And then the minute the men like worked the crowd, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. were dying. Like they were just like, eh. literally, it was animals. It was that scene in Mean Girls where everyone turned, like they start yeah. making those animal noises. <laughs> you would have thought Oprah was giving cars to everybody. Oh, you they sure went ape shit. Did. Like you they thought, went nuts. you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. They were like, ah! <laughs> that was hilarious. Jim, you gave me the 20 bucks for the dance, and I turned around and I said, You got another 20? Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's out of my budget. You get 120, baby. You just sound like this. You get a dick. You get a dick. Yeah. You get a dick. Everybody gets <laughs> dicks tonight. You're right? It was like that. Cocks all around, everybody. Yeah. Cock a doo doo doo. What was so funny one time, my girlfriends and I were in San Diego for uh-huh. her birthday. Yeah. And our one friend wanted to go to uh, the titty bar. So right. we all go and we put one friend in charge of all the money. We're like, Nancy, can we have another dollar? <laughs> that's hilarious. So we went to her for the money, and she, uh, she's like, you can have another that's one. Right. <laughs> she's like your own personal ATM yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the coolest thing ever is I got to see Kid Rock open up for a band called Monster Magnet in Vegas. And when I worked my radio job, the, the record rep invited us over to the strip club afterwards, and... I got to go to the strip club with Kid Rock, and it was the same thing. He would walk over to uh, the record rep lady, and she and he would go, he go, Mama, can I have some more money? <laughs> oh and my she would god! Say, and she would give him this fat stack, like it was, yeah. really, it was probably like a hundred one. She had like yeah. her stack, but I got to go to the strip club with Kid Rock, and he'd be like, Mama, can I have some more money? <laughs> Jim's always got the best stories ever. It's Seriously. been a cool life. I mean. Okay, so I will say my favorite, favorite part, though, was the end of the night. We had been drinking. I had some nachos. Yeah. And I thought it was over. And I'm, like, talking to Aaron because, you know, Miles was doing his, like, little skit. Right. And then all of a sudden comes on everyone's favorite 90s, like, Oh, like the melody. Jam. It was, like, yeah. Backstreet Boys in sync, Backstreet Boys in sync, <laughs> back to back to back. And I was like... Oh, now this is my shit. So I'm like ah. over there and I'm like dancing and going crazy. And Aaron's like, oh my God. <laughs> What's going on? Right. And, and bless like Aaron's heart because he was sober that night. He was he our was DD. Our, he was our DD. Oh, he was 100% driver. sober. So he's dealing with my drunk ass. My your drug ass, ass and your drug <laughs> ass. And, uh, I mean, we had sang carpool. And a bunch of sweaty torsos. Oh, yeah. And then we were, like, you know, we were, like, singing carpool karaoke on the way up there. And then we get oh, there, and we're, like, God. fucking, like, level zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, Backstreet Boys come on. I'm like, come on, babe. And he's just like, ah. <laughs> Is it weird to think? I thought of you, Ashton, when the 90s jams came on, and I go, I wish I wish Ashton was with me at Magic Men right now. <laughs> yeah. He checked out. He oh, checked out. <laughs> he gone. Oh, he he gone. gone. <laughs> He's on his yeah. way to an audition. Uh, <laughs> anything else, Jackson? Well, and after the fact, where did we go to right after Tasha? Oh, we got a picture. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, family. yeah, so <laughs> I I had told Jimbo and Jackie, they're like, we don't want to go back yet. I'm like, oh, it's fine. Like, let, <laughs> let me take you out on an L.A. night. So uh, we went to this bar called Adults Only. Yes. That's on Sunset. 
So you walk in and you think like, oh, it looks like an old school VHS store. Right. So we walk in and we're all having fun. And I'm like, hey, I know the secret coming. <laughs> and <laughs> we literally walk in and then you go behind the curtain like if you did when you were younger and or older and had uh, gone to the VHS store under the adults only sign. And it's like a porn shop. Yeah. And we're like. I got flashbacks. It was cool. Yeah, because it's all like '80s, '90s porn, like video VHS. It's playing right there. They got the, the they have boxes. Old, yeah, they have like an old school TV in the corner playing like old porn. So you're and, like seeing Harry Hacky Sack <laughs> yeah. meet very Harry Bees. And the walls are like the wallpaper is all like old Playboy and Hustler magazines and stuff. So I I took them and they were like, oh my. God. And then I'm like, oh yeah. And then you turn around, it's like a hipster LA like speakeasy. Ah, uh, <laughs> what was funny is all the pictures in that corner. I said, I remember jerking off to her, jerking yeah, off to her, yeah. jerking off. <laughs> and then the, here's a picture of this is after Magic Men, us at that bar. Uh, Does Jackie look happy or what? <laughs> You're straddling two different chairs in that too, Jackie. I, I did not know I was so toasted. I really why is, why, I was like, why did like they, get so toasted? Why does Christian Bell look so? Angry right there. Have you seen American Psycho? I know, but why would you put that? <laughs> That's right from there? American Psycho. Isn't that crazy? And I, I recreated that pose later that night thanks to Magic Men. So oh, on thank our you. couch? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> no, outside by the sprinkler. Uh. <laughs> so I got to thank you, social media goddess Natasha, thank for you. hooking fun. that up. It was a damn good time. I got to thank you, Aaron. For a holy shit being my wingman on a very difficult night. <laughs> oh my god, you crazy ass. So I gotta I gotta mention one thing. Do I, it. I didn't realize Aaron's car could actually drive itself. <laughs> yeah, he's got a Tesla. <laughs> and Jim and I are in the back seat and I'm thinking, this motherfucker ain't got his ass on the phone right now. Because <laughs> he turns really... around and does that full yeah. like ah, I was like, yeah. what is he doing? <laughs> you, yeah, she had no idea. Hey Jimbo. Uh, yo, bro. When you left, did you feel like this? I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Hell yeah! I was ready to do the dance. Do it, baby. Get up and do it. Yes, yeah, get up and dance. I'm, uh, I got a cramp in my right leg. I can't dance right now. Oh, Aaron can do it with you. Go ahead. I'll do my move. I'll show you my magic men. Get up, Jackie. Not lying though, literally at one point I look over on the side of the couch and Jim's laying back on the booth and yes. his shit was unbuttoned to his belly button. <laughs> Full man titties out, yeah. fucking like hairy chest, and I was like, oh, to uh, quote Beyonce, feeling himself. <laughs> I was just oh, there. Oh, yeah, look, there we go. I was just there. See if you could zoom in on that shit. I was just there oh, just man. to uh just to make sure. <laughs> With that big old wolf pussy, you come down. It's a black time. forest, baby. I actually made him get to the inside because he was on the outside doing that. Yeah. I was just making it a party. You know I like parties. Oh, yeah. So we, had, uh, we, we had the best time. Uh, it was a blast. Well, thank you so much. Give it up, everybody, for Aaron and our social media goddess, Natasha. Woo! Thank you, guys. Thank you. Great seeing you. You think we'll do that time. again? I wonder if we'll do that again. What do you no, think? No, 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 no. We got a new field trip coming I mean, up. I... S- Think next time we go to like Spearmint Rhino or something. I like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Or let's go, yeah, to let's go to Nippolopolis. Fantasy. Right? <laughs> let's go All to right. Fantasy. Get out of here, you crazy kids. Jimbo. Yo, fan- bro. Fantasy. Oh. Six dollar pictures. I've, I've used to host a lot of cool events there. Yeah, Jackie. We- I think they baked Jim cookies before. Jack, listen to Jackie's story. I used to host Sunday Night Football at the Fantasy Topless in Colton. And 
what happened one night? Because Jackie was going to uh, college at the time. Yes, and so Jim's kids had to be dropped off on Sunday at 6, so he was already at the club. I was chasing the cheddar. So I would drop his kids off, come back home and study, and then Daddy started coming home with homemade cookies from the strippers. I was like, damn, Mama needs to get to the strip club. <laughs> and the cookies were delicious. Yeah, no, there's a secret about the fantasy. They really got some good pizza. I don't know what kind of pizza. Ah, do they really? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> oh, well, when you got strippers giving you homemade cookies, well, you're doing they, something right. I know that they got fun. good cookies. <laughs> it always comes down to food over here. <laughs> That's right. All right. I think it's almost time to wrap up episode 46, but we got one more thing. With all the excitement and the juices flowing, talking to Miles for Magic Men and uh, everything. I can't wait to go again, and I want you to go with me. All it right. So I will. I will. Fun. You're right. Life's been pretty damn good since uh, I took you to Magic Men. So I'll let you go ahead and pick the three things for episode 46 of the Jimbo and Jackie show. Three times a charm. Go ahead, Mama. So three things better than sex. All right. Three so, things. Yes. All right. Do you, uh, it's kind of tough to say there, uh, but we did it. So I was just going to go right to number one, two, and three, Magic Men. That's the, better than sex was going better to than the sex. show? Yeah. What do you think? Was that all three do of you, them? Do you think so? Not for me, to be honest. I got to be <laughs> honest. I, I could think about three million places I'd rather go than Magic Men. No disrespect. <laughs> Okay. I well, had a great time, but I could think of many, many places that, and especially things that are better than sex. Better, okay. Ain't nobody got time one. for that. Uh, wiener in the mouth. Is that what? better than sex? I could think of three trillion things better than having a wiener in your mouth. <laughs> You're going to have to help me out, gorgeous. You're going to have okay. to reel it in a little bit. I'm going to let you pick. How about uh, in the theme of Magic Men and all the fun we had, how about our three things are... Give me three things that are better than sex. Jackie, number three. Okay, if I have to pick three, uh, Slim Chiller, sucking on a Slim Chiller. The night's always a thriller when you're sucking on a Slim and Chiller. And you guys, we're not, just, we're not just promoting it. I love them so she much. She really does. I Natasha, so feel much. free to cut one up in the <laughs> in the, the sound booth over there. I always have Bring, them. Make two. Make it two. I always have them close to me. I love them. She does. I love them. They're that good, man. Thank you, Slim Chillers. Yes. Uh, I would have to say... The only thing that's better than sex, especially with you, number three would be sitting at a winning blackjack table for a couple hours in Vegas while the drinks are flowing, the blackjacks are hitting, and we're making money, and I'm sitting next to my bride in her natural habitat because she loves Vegas. I do love Vegas. Yeah, Viva, baby! Let's get a party bus up to Vegas with the Jimbo and Jackie show. Hey. Do you like that one? I freaking love it. All right, Jackie, what's your number two thing that is better than sex? Look at my number two. Vegas. Ah, yep. She do love Vegas. Vegas, baby. They believe you. They're not going to be able to zoom in that much. I don't ever want anybody to think we're we're trying to scam them. Viva! Oh, Not that, bad. that was Mexico. That was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number two thing of things that are better than sex. Here she comes, social media goddess Thank Natasha. You, See, we always Thank got you. On Thank you. Phil. Um. Okay, when we weren't homeless, I would do some yard work, <laughs> and. There is nothing like having a shower beer after doing hours of yard work, whether it be trimming trees, cutting the grass, uh, pulling weeds. You go in a shower, you bring a couple beers, and you drink them like this, where you just you raise it. You don't care if it spills all over, but there's something cool about drinking a beer. Isn't there, Ashton, where you're just like raising it above that's your the head? That's for the hangover, too. And that, that's a Shower good way to beer. start the day, too. I just uh, didn't want yeah. to sound like a drunk alcoholic like well, you. I'll, I'll do it for you, Jim. All right, thank you, brother. I do that, too, sometimes. I love it so much. I don't think I could ever live my life without you. Well, don't. You're so freaking cool, honey. Oh. Uh-oh, Mama's you getting buzzed really on episode are. 46. I love it. 
You are so freaking cool. <laughs> is there anybody else out there what if, as cool there and is. good-hearted as Jim? What about taking a piss when you're drunk after a long drive and you have to hold it? That's the uh, best. Oh, yeah. That's that, a good one. That, that happened the other, way, the other day on the way home from Taco Tuesday. I had to have Jackie pull over. Yeah. Yeah. I really. And we were literally a mile and a half from the house. Yeah, like, but I'm honey. in my 50s and fucked. When I got to pee, you I got to pee. It. I can hold it for 23 seconds. Oh, <laughs> when you're in your 50s, producer Mark, he's in his 80s. How long can you hold a piss for when you really got to go? Uh, an hour. <laughs> okay, maybe it's better. Well, with the, the, the pens that I wear now, it's not an issue anymore. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It turns to powder. I think we need to get Sham Wow to be a sponsor of this, and we can get Sham Wow underpants. He yeah. said it turns to powder. <laughs> That's right. He farts dust at this point. All right, Jackie, what's your number one thing that is better than sex? I think you're going to agree with me. A hotel bed. Uh, Isn't pretty it damn great? nice. Yes. So that that's AKA because you get a king size, AKA Mexico. You get extra AKA, pillows. Yes. You get the best sheets. And we usually stay at pretty nice places. Not bad. So, Motel yeah. sixes have really gone up. And, and you don't have to make it in the morning. Oh, amen. amen. And you get dowel blankets and pillows. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever done this, boys and girls? Have you ever brought your own pillow and swapped them out with the hotel pillow? <laughs> No, but that's next on the agenda. That's a great idea. Well, fucking A right. It's amazing when I've done it. When I was a kid, if we needed auto parts for a car, yeah. we'd we'd rent a car. <laughs> switch carburetors <laughs> or tires. You yeah. wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy hell. That's yeah. a great idea. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work so much anymore. Mark, wow. are you from San Bernardino? That's right. <laughs> his IE, his inner child IE is coming out. No, that was straight New Jersey. Ah, that's true. Well, very relatable. New Jersey and the IE. Let I'll me never, tell you what. You and I have a lot of trouble with uh with pillows and mattresses. Do you remember those aren't where, pillows? Yeah. Do you remember where we got where we slept on the best pillow ever, and we wanted to take them, but we didn't. Was it one of the timeshare dillios? Yes. Was it was in Scottsdale. Yep, sure was. There you go. Yeah, ding ding ding. Ding ding goes the trolley. Damn. Ding ding goes up your valley. <laughs> I would have to say though, the one thing that is better than sex. <laughs> Fire it up. Absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> Because having sex with you is heaven sent, the best thing ever. You are my magic mountain. You are the ride I want to go on time and time again. I love it. You're like my favorite human roller coaster. As soon as you get off a roller coaster, you go, fucking A, I want to go on that again. That's how I feel when I have sex with you. I can't wait to bang you again. So, Jimbo, I have a question. Because I've been thinking about this. Uh, So... Would you choose never having sex again or never hearing music for the rest of your life? Never hearing music. Really? Without a doubt. That's it. Those are two great choices. I appreciate that answer. <laughs> Our question. But uh, Jackie's vagina is my Woodstock. Yeah, I'm so old I can't hear anymore or have sex. So. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take music and I'll jack off like a 13-year-old. Ah! That's an option. What about you, Tay Tay, coming up with that question? Oh, I'd, I'd take music for sure. Oh, yeah. man. Wow. Well, I hope you're right. You got to find the right poon tang because then you'll get your answer will change. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, man. I've, I've played music my entire life. So there you go. Like, so you wouldn't mind playing your skin flute over and over again if you had to add that I choice. think he's been playing music more than sex. Ah, <laughs> there it is. And we got to thank. <laughs> I think it may be time to wrap up episode 46. What was his name? And we got to thank the great people over at Rockin' MMA and the Lavender Foundation. We got a huge event happening March 21st featuring Strung Out at the San Bernardino Fairgrounds in Victorville. You guys don't miss it. We are going to be out okay. there. We're going to talk about it more and more, but it's like concert day, fights at night. It's yeah. a great thing. The Rockin' MMA event. March 21st. We'll be there. You be there, too. All right. I think 46 is time to go in the books. I think it's time. Beautiful. Do you want to say anything? You want, you want to have sex. I can yeah, tell. Yeah, you're the most, you're the sweetest human ever. Okay, we'll stop this broadcast because you're you making really people are. throw up. Okay. But I love you, too, Jackie. I love you, beautiful. We want to thank Slim Chillers. 
The night's always a thriller when you're sucking on a slim chiller. Oh! <laughs> and we're going <laughs> to... The night's always a thriller when the bimbo's on Jimbo. So here we go. Oh! It's, it's time to say goodbye. Sound boys, thank you so much for your hard work. We appreciate the drops. We appreciate the descriptions. We ap- uh, appreciate producer Mark not shitting himself in the studio. Aww. And we got to thank social media goddess Natasha and her boy toy Aaron for the yes. fun we had. So and much we, fun. And a big shout out to Magic Men creator Miles for being on the show. That yeah, was fun. Thank you so much, Miles. We wish we had him in studio so you could see his dreamy pecs. But we got him on the bone phone, so that's okay. That's right. All right. We love you guys. Jackie, why don't you say bye to everybody? Bye-bye, y'all. See you. Hit me with three. I say, welcome, y'all. Now come on in to the Jim Bone Jack Show. You know, he's that crazy kooky guy who used to be on the radio. She's really sweet and her face is neat. They put it up on a big billboard. They're too much fun, so the previous marriages ended in divorce. But the third time's a charm. They say the third time's a charm. Long live Jimbo and Jackie. Ah-ha!